Welcome to our video series, Learn Rhino 3D in 11 Simple Ring Band Projects. In this video, I'll take you through working with O-snaps. In Rhino, O-snaps are object snaps constraining markers to an exact location on an object, for example, the end of a line or center of a circle. When an O-snap is active, moving the cursor near that specified point on an object causes the marker to jump to it. The O-snaps are located in the lower left of the workspace in the O-snaps panel. Let's try some out. We'll start by maximizing right view. Before I begin, I'll go ahead and draw some shapes on the work plane, a couple circles, lines, and rectangles. The first thing I want to do is snap one of my rectangles to the end of one of the lines. So I'll go ahead to the O-Snaps panel and choose the End option. Next, I'll enter in the Move command. Under Select Objects to Move, I'll choose one of my rectangles. I'll press Enter, and for the point to move from, note as I draw my cursor towards the rectangle where the O-Snap appears. As I get to the end point on the corner, I'll click and for the point to move to, I'll draw towards the end of the diagonal line. My rectangle now snaps to the end of the line. I'll click to end the command, and the end corner of the rectangle is now placed on the end of the line. If I want simply for two objects to touch, I might engage the near O-snap. So I'll go ahead and turn that on in the O-snaps panel, and I'll re-engage the move command. Under selecting objects to move, I'll select the rectangle. I'll press Enter, and under Point to Move From, I'll draw my cursor towards the rectangle. Note how the Near O-Snap appears. However, because we have both End and Near O-Snap selected at this time, if I move my cursor to the End corner of the rectangle, you can see that the O-Snap changes to End. I'll go ahead and select a Near Point midway up the left side. I'll click, and under Point to Move To, I'll draw my cursor towards the straight line. and note how the near O-snap engages. I'll click to end the command, and now the rectangle and the line are touching. Often when working with circles, we'll be engaging the quadrant O-snap. Quadrant points on the circle can be thought of almost like a compass. North, east, south, and west. Before moving the circle, let's turn off end and near O-snaps. And I'll go ahead and turn on the quadrant O-snap. I'll re-engage the move command, and I'll select the smaller circle. Before I click on point to move from, let's see where the quadrant points are again. We have one at the top, north, east, south, and west. I'll go ahead and select this quad point, and now I'll draw it to a quad point on the larger circle. I've now snapped the two quadrant points together. You should now have a basic overview of how to manage O-snaps. These O-snaps are essential tools we'll be making use of in our ring projects to ensure that curves and objects align properly. We'll be practicing these a lot, so don't worry if you're still a little confused. Stay tuned for the next video, Creating Arcs.